Hello gamers, good morning. Welcome to our beautiful little town in the lovely little game of Medieval Dynasty. Now we have, if you look in the top right hand corner, we have... Wait, is she drunk? Like flopping around. We have to finish Unigas, leg of, the leg of this part of his story. Where is she going? I don't think she's supposed to be in there. So, look at, look at the chickens. They're awesome. We should have two pigs now. I don't know where they are. Here's one. I didn't even know we had three chickens. I think they're procreating. Anyway, we need to... We don't have time for that. We got so much to do. It's unbelievable. Um, we need to... I need to grab a bunch of stuff and, and, and head to the, our next objective where I'll be able to sell it. But... I was looking around, and our lovely little town is absolutely in shambles. Yeah, no good. It's no bueno. So we need to go ahead and uh, repair our town. Wood hammer. I've actually never repaired anything. So anything that shows up in red. Three straw, one log. So we need a bunch of straws and logs. We can do that. Oh, maybe we can't do straw. Yeah, we can. And I have another stash somewhere else as well. It's, the resource hut is wicked important. Oh, no, we don't have sticks. I'm sure we have a ton of them, right? Yeah. We're already overweight. <laughs> we won't be able to walk. What can I get rid of? Three stone knives. Don't need those right now. Man, why are we so heavy? Because of all the logs. Well, we're gonna have to get rid of the half of them. Pick up some steaks. Stay about. Ten pounds worth? Nine pounds worth? See where we're at with that? So, yeah, so I just wanted to do some repairs on our way to. I believe we're going to Lesnica, Lesnica next, and we have so much stuff that's like... Anything else in here? We have so much stuff that's like way down on the percentage, 25% and, you know, like 30%, and eventually it's going to turn to shit. Alright, everything else is probably good, I'm going to say, so that's that's cool. We only had a couple piece panels to fix. The chicken coop might is kind of old. We might need to fix that soon. So we're going to get rid of the wooden hammer. Pick up those stone knives that we had, and then we're going to fill, kind of fill up this laundry list, if you will, of, um, not laundry list, shopping list of food items that we need to get rid of. Like, I don't need the bow on me. I don't know why I have that on me. But first... I gotta get this back, the bow back in here before I forget. But first, we need to, uh... Actually, that's what these three knives are for. They're supposed to be in here, probably. So let's put those back in here. I don't think it matters, but... Because uh, this is the hunting lodge. But first of all, I just want to look at real quick what our... Fields are doing. So that's gonna be beat. This is all... Now, this needs to be harvested. I hope they harvest it. So, I'm assuming if I plant something here, they will, uh, harvest that first. I hope. So, I'm just going to plant a couple of rows and see what happens. So, they'll harvest what I, uh, underneath it, you know what I'm saying? If I put onions on top of those carrots... That need to be harvested right now, or whatever it was, wheat. The harvest, what needs to be harvested first, I hope. This is wheat and rye that needs to be harvested, and I want to put 
like half of it in cabbage. So we'll just have to do that as a test. I don't know if I just destroyed the vegetables underneath them or not. You know what I mean? I'm just going to kind of do that as a test on field number four and make sure this. So I don't want this planted now. I want this to be all cabbage. And we'll do a couple more beetroot. We're kind of slacking in the beetroot department. Why not? Cool. So who do we have in the fields anyway? Nobody. Oh, one. Our wife, which may not even be working right now. So we are going to... I think she is. Lumberjack, animal breeder, miner. Go with one farmer for now. So let's go ahead and remove the best way is to remove that and reassign it and go back to the barn. Go to assign worker. Good worker. All right. So we have two field workers, a gatherer, an animal breeder. As a matter of fact, we're going to take the animal breeder out and put her in either gatherer or field worker. I'm not sure which. Or I don't know. Maybe I can't do two gatherers, actually, now that I think about it. So we're going to remove her from the pig's diet. You know what we'll have to do? I, honestly, to be fair, is uh, put her in the, in the... Oops, why did I do that? Open details, assign workplace, open details, uh, the hen house. Pig side just got a little attention. The hen house needs a little loving. So we're going to assign worker. Do, 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 do. Animal breeder, good. So we need to eat something real quick. Perhaps we should grab something to eat. Wait, what's our inventory? Pretty good. So something that's about to go bad. That's a prepared meal. Some potage would be nice. No, not 29 of them. Jesus. Uh, let's get rid of all but like three. And we can go ahead and eat one of those right now. Very nice. Food. Oh, Todd. Oh, we might even need to eat two. That'd be great. Why not? So we'll grab one more potage. Or meat in the grit. Now, something that's more rotten. You know what I mean? Soup. 75% soup. That's, not, that's such a catchy name. 75% soup. You should say, like, what? What is that? Uh, we are thirsty, but we can get some water on the way out of town. Everybody's all worked up now and crazy. Look at these crazy workers. Uh, so we need to grab stuff and get out of here. So stuff that's worth money, actually, I'll just take those two. Uh, all these berries. Just all these mushrooms, because they're just going to go bad. Eggs. You know they're not worth a lot, but it's like, what's the point of picking them if you don't sell them? Uh, meat and gravy we can get rid of if I, hopefully I remember that. All these mushrooms, they're not very heavy either. All the St. John's work. Ooh, a piece of leather, we'll get rid of that. All this stuff. Yeah, we're not that heavy at all, we can just start taking everything. Except for... Why is my longbow in there? That's so funny. Oh, I would have been super pissed. So we're only at 35. We got five more pounds to go. Let's just grab something a little more worth. With a little more monies. Like I said, if we don't get rid of this stuff, look at the percentages. Like 17% stone axe. That's got to go. 39% stone axe. That puts us just over. 
but maybe we can, um, even though we don't need to, we can, that's worth money. Let's just drop something that's not worth money. Or eat that, rather. <laughs> we have to get, we have so little to get rid of. Drop all these. Okay. Now we're ready to rock, right? We're on our way out of town, going to Lesnica. We need to cut 20 trees on the way. Then we got our iron axe on us. Good. Good to go in that regard. I mean, I might as well just, like, cut a tree here and there. Not gonna need to pick it up anytime soon, you know what I mean? It'll be here in a little while. I'm just not gonna grind out tree chopping. Because I figure we're running by the tree. Yeah. See, I got this little axe stamina boost thing, but I haven't seen any, like, major benefit to it, to be honest. It's it it makes a bunch of you know circle circly things and looks pretty, but as far as it still takes two hits to whack down the same tree, and it seems like our stamina still runs out. Maybe it does affect stamina, and I'm just not appreciating it. Okay, so we need to get to Lesnica. So we're almost there. To the Wes the Wes of the Nika. The tiny I'm not exaggerating, tiny little town of Wesnica. This is that wandering guy. Dude, what are you doing, man? You are wandering. He needed to talk to you before you walked off the map. That was frustrating. And there was also somebody stuck behind a door here. Kinda weird. Do I need to talk to you? Unigo sent me to collect the taxes for this year. Why are you here and what do you want? A big house, fertile fields, a glorious harvest, the most beautiful wife and smartest children in all kingdoms. What the hell? Yeah, that's what I want. Not bad, not bad. We all have our hopes and dreams, so what do you want from me? Unigo sent me to collect this year's taxes. Bad luck, I can't pay, of course. Why not? If you don't have enough coins, we can take some goods and oh I have enough coins in my stash but I don't have the key for the chest my wife Gisela hid it somewhere before she went out hunting again sometimes she is out for days I can help you with your search for the, the key if you let me in I can find her if needed I got some hunting experience myself and I know the best spots for the game I can help you with the search for the key if you let me in. I don't, what does that even mean? You want me you need to let a stranger in my house sniffing through my possessions? Are you insane? Some say so, but I am stubborn. Unigos needs to collect his taxes and we all are in trouble. Although, alright. If you can get, if you can find Gisela and she tells you where the damn key is, you will get the coins. So, be it. So, Teobald's taxes, eh? Anybody have any, anybody recruitable? Where did he go? He just, like, got ghost. Just disappeared. Okay, so we need to sell this stuff real quick. Show me your wares, please. Wait, first things first. Hey, do you have a minute? Have you seen that, Noble? What a day! There we go. Um. Oh, this is him. This is the guy with the taxes. Show me your wares, so we need to sell off all of this stuff. Oh, a torch is worth 18 bucks, huh? A torch with only 18% on it is... ...worth four dollars. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Is that my last meat and gravy? I need it. Uh, 
Oh, I do have two potage though. They are worth nine dollars. And a soup. Two soups. And they're worth nine dollars too. Oh, I did not mean to sell all that food. Damn it. <laughs> We're so dead. Famous last words. Okay. So... Yeah, we're down to only six pounds. That's awesome. How much does it cost to buy us a freaking soup back? Forty-four dollars. Wow, that's just that's crazy. I should punch that guy in the face. Oh, I wish I could. Okay, so all punching aside, we need to find this woman. Hey, do you have a minute? Sorry. I don't blame you, kid. Don't talk to strangers ever. Never ever. He's somewhere. Oh, right here. Behind us? She's right that way. Okay. Okay. That works for me. Uh, I know it's kind of weird, but I'm just going to knock a couple trees because where is she? And we can always use some broad leaf. Where is she? She should be right in front of me, lady. Oh, there she is. Ooh, mushrooms. Oh wait, you know what? I don't want to chop these trees down. I want to get the ones that are near my resource shed that are on the way uh, to the next objective. Oh, please tell me I have my longbow. I'm gonna say I have no arrows, right? Oh no. gotta shoot a rascally it's funny the the pig that we have now makes the same noise when he's running around as the deer do and so and i'm hanging out in town and all of a sudden i think there's a deer i'm whipping my bow out constantly i think the pig is a deer he's a front little bastard hey why are you sneaking up on me because t wolf sent me what kind of name is that anyway he needs to know where the key for the stash is hidden you call that sneaking? I ran through the forest like a drunk boar and made noises like a bear in heat. Oh, okay, that's just too much. Let's continue on. I don't think my husband would send you on a search for the key to our coins. What did you do to him? Nothing except telling him that Uni Unigos needs the taxes collected now and only you know where the key to the chest is. Is that so? The Castilian is getting greedier and greedier from year to year, but I guess you are just doing what you were told, right? That's right, and isn't, isn't, that's right, and he isn't greedy, he collects for the Lord, you know, as you know. So he says, so he says, listen, I have some really promising tr tracks here, but I ran out of iron arrows. Get me three of those and I will tell you, what's that fox doing? He will need to know to pay you off. Fair enough. Consider it done. Do you have my arrows? <clears throat> you better have here. I forge. I forge. Forge by the very best. Hmm. The style and material look suspiciously, suspiciously familiar. What? What they will do? Tell my husband the key is beneath the place where he hides his booze. Nothing can't hide you. Can't hide from you, huh? So... What? What do I need to do now? I'll track this bastard. We need to talk to him now? Oh, he's down here. Do you have a question mark? Yeah, he's right in town. Okay, let's take it from here. Yeah, I don't want to, uh... 
We have a resource shed, like, on the, on the way south from here. So I'll stop by, knock down some trees there, and just fill the shed up for uh, later use, firewood, etc. Speaking of which, I just need to check, oh, I hate this, real quick, if uh, our lumberjack is, wait, I'm in the wrong thing, woodshed, open details, boom. Well, I turned my mouse sensitivity down a little bit, but it's kind of kind of weird. I want no planks, and I want more firewood than logs at this point. That's a lie. I want a little bit of planks. Just five. Okay, and heavy on the firewood. Good, 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 good. I don't know what made me think of that just now, but it's necessary. Okay. So who's got the stats here? Nobody? Nobody's recruitable. Hi. Hey, Teobald. Teobald. Gisela says that the key is beneath the place where you're hiding your booze from her. She knows well. Give me some time. I will get your coins. Hi, what are you talking about? Alright, here's your money. I hope the greedy bastard chokes on it. Thank you, and you try to find a better place for your booze. Farewell. T quest complete. Teeble's taxes. Okay, so we don't need anything from this little town. Right? Right? I don't need to buy anything. He doesn't, he doesn't have anything good, right? We're already married, so I don't need to talk to any chicks. He has a sigh, but so expensive. I'm just gonna make one. All right, we're outy. Go, go away, you little silly little jerk. So we're gonna go down to. Do, do, is there another quest in, in our town, or is that the same one? I mean, we're gonna go over with. Okay, this is what's gonna happen. We're going to Hornica over here, but we want to go to our research shed first, which is right here. So we're gonna do something really cheesy. And we're going to hit the unstuck button and it's going to zap us across the map to this point right here. At least it used to. I haven't touched it in like a while. Where are we? See, we're, we're right here now. And we just need to head this way. To get to our resource shed. Perhaps we should go to Hornica first. And bang this quest out before it gets dark. There's like a hundred other ones there too. But, but if it gets dark and we don't get this firewood, that's a problem. So let's get the firewood first. Because then the quest fails and we can't, you know, just get it again until it comes up again. When, um, we could just wait till morning and get those other quests. If you know what I, if you know what I mean. What is that? Uh. Oh man, you're lucky for you, I have fat fingers right now. What? What just happened? Oh my god, my bow broke. You gotta be kidding me. Wow, we're in trouble if we need to, um... My fucking bow just broke. That's so funny. We're in trouble if we need to uh, run the the wrong way now. If we need to go, um, if we need to kill anything for any of these quests, we're gonna have to conjure up some speeds. Not a big deal, but I'm actually glad it broke in like a silly moment like that. We actually need some water. And the the how convenient the broadleaf plantains that are growing right. Oh wait. I could have sworn you just saw a Broadway. <gasps> Isn't that? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going crazy. So we got, you know, water and health right together in the same exact spot. We need to go this way. Oh, Hornica. We're going, I'm feeling so Hornica, yo. It's crazy. We need to go this way. Okay. 
Oh wait, we're not going to Hornaker. We're going to the fucking shed. That's right. Yo, what was that? Hey. I think I think you can kill them. I think your axe is a weapon. Where the hell is the shed, man? So we need to just knock down a couple two tree trees for this quest right here. It's not even here anymore. Why is that? Dude, it's gone. That's weird. It's really weird. We had a quest uh, to knock down 20 trees from the person in our village. But actually, if you look at the map, they're back. Like, the quest is back. That's weird. I, ha I know I accepted the quest. Maybe I didn't. Oh, well. Now I just wasted a bunch of time. Not really. It was kind of on the way. But it's, I'm glad I noticed that, though. So that means I need to... Alright, Husky. Doesn't need, I need to make a couple spears right now. Jesus, take your time, tree. Take your time, Fallen. That's alright. We got all day. So, real quick, just craft up uh, all three of these. I actually probably need more than that, but they're quite heavy. I can't believe... Oh, you know what's funny, too? So, one of the quests here is a bow. And I put the bow back in the hunting lodge, did I? Man, I, wear, I really wish I had grabbed it. It's definitely not in the resource shed. It's definitely not. It sucks. I really wish I thought of that. You know, I knew I was going to Hornica, but... Well, yeah, one of the quests is get me a bow. Not a, not a long bow, but a regular bow, and I have one. I just had my hands on it, like, ten minutes ago. Oh, that's silly. Uh, that's really strange about that tree quest. I know I accepted it. It said open fields or whatever. Hey, buddy. Oh, that reminds me. I need to put these spears in slots. Oops, why didn't three work? Why is this one in slot five? And I want it in slot four. Okay, sorry. So, Park, there is the lovely little town of Hornica. I'm still, I'm perplexed how that quest could just leave. It said, it clearly said open fields. Under side quest. Now it says, not sink. Crazy. I don't get it. Did I log out? I don't think I logged out. Day did not pass. I don't. I don't get it. Dude, did I just throw that spear? I did not mean to do that at all. So who am I looking for here? Right dead ahead, eh? Yeah, what's your name? Carolina? Close, but no thank you. She's in here? Hey lady. How's it going? Hi. You are Carolina, right? I am Rasmir. The nephew of Jord Warden? Jordan? And now the unofficial right hand of Castilian 
Well, your uncle probably wouldn't have approved what you are doing here. Why is that? He and you know those were friends. If you say so. So, regarding the taxes, or why did you say that? Is there something I should know? Just forget it. I probably said too much already. So, what do you want? Well, that's interesting. Well, I have been sent to collect the taxes. I thought so. Each year, earlier, each year more. Unigos must have made a fortune. No, it's not like that. You know... He collects for the Lord, and they force him to do it early this year. It's not his fault, but we all have to pay up. Whatever, I would give you the, I would give you the coins, but since I married Leonard, my wealth has dwindled mysteriously. Mysteriously. That's funny. Whenever I tell some goods, whenever I sell some goods, the money is gone soon after. But I assume you know. Dogobert and Danica? Yes, we met. He ordered two tunics from me and two iron hammers from Jan. Here are the tunics. He won't accept a parcel delivery, so you need to get the hammers too. Deliver the goods to him and keep the payment as my share. Seems easy. So, Carolina's taxes... Okay, so to get Carolina's taxes, we need to follow the quest, Carolina's taxes. And we need to get... What, exactly? We need to go all the way to Denica? First? Wait, I gotta double check that. I forget what she said. Carolina has no way to pay the bill, but when it's sent with the package... I got the tunics from here, and you'll have to get two iron hammers from Jan of Hornica, the blacksmith. I was to take care of it, so I could talk to him about it. I mean, the hand Dagobert won't really care whether the hammers came from as long as he gets them. With the coins he'll give me for delivering these things, I'll pay Carolina's taxes. Interesting. So we don't need to visit the blacksmith. In Hornica. I mean, why not though? It should be right here, right? There is. Did I miss the blacksmith? I thought Jan was a woman. Hey you, look strong, but not as strong as me. How about a wrestle? Don't worry, I won't hurt you. I'm not here to prove my strength, I'm here to pick up the iron hammers for Dogobert. Too bad I ran out of raw iron to finish the second. You don't happen to have some at hand. On the other hand, I don't wrestle, but I had my share of fist fights in the past. It works for me too, just a small friendly fight without low blows, okay. Sorry, I cannot promise that I had to kill three men with my bare hands just to get out of my parents' house alive when we were overrun. On my way up to the north, I knocked out bears and killed wolves with a single blow. Do you see this scar here? What? Gee, alright, no, I don't think we should fight now. I have too much to do. What do you want in the first place? Actually, I'm here to pick up the iron hammers for Dugabert. Two iron hammers. Fair enough. Here you are. Have them and send Dugabert my best regards. Will do. It's my pleasure doing business with you. Okay, so if we use the, the map trick, it's going to put us here. It is a little closer, right? So let's try it. We'll save first. And then we'll hit the cheesy unstuck button. You see we're now right here and we can just dart right to Denica real quick. You know, much much to my uh 
dismay. I think I I may have purchased that longbow that we had. Now that I think about it. And I don't know if I can make them yet or not. I'm pretty sure I can. But I'm not 100% on that. And that kind of makes me nervous. So right now we need to craft up a couple more spears. I don't know if I need all of these. But I feel vulnerable without my bow and arrow. I still have my arrows, right? Yes. Okay. So I just want to uh, get these spears in the right slots. Oops. So that's four spears slotted. That should be that should be more than enough. More than enough. And I, I I'm hoping that I my uh, lumberjack is good enough to produce enough firewood for my villagers. I really hope he's keeping up because I can't assign more than one until I build the second uh, woodshed and I haven't gotten around to that yet. And so I hate being under time pressure in this game because I want to stop and kill, collect everything I see. I heard a nasty wolf howl before on my way here. Like one I've never heard before. Okay, so where is this guy? Dagobert? Dagobert? Hey, where are you going? Uh, hello. What brings you to my house today? Some excellent goods from the Hornica and a payment for collecting. Ah, my tunics. I've been waiting for these for weeks. My hand to get weeks for getting my hands on those. Carolina knows how to make them last for years. And what about my iron hammers? Here you go. Well then, well then, here's your coins. Quest complete Carolina's taxes. So, you know, go story. Deliver to Unigos. One, well, we got them all, so all we have to do is deliver them, I guess. That works for me. Hey. You have decent stats, sir. Do you mind if I inspect your stats? All added up, they only add up to 10. That's like nothing. So, alright, so where are we? We need to uh, run back to Gustovia to. Drop all these taxes off to Home Slice, and hopefully we won't have to pay our own taxes. So that's going to be for next episode. We got with this almost buttoned up. So it was good to see you guys. I'll see you then. And as always, peace.